On 9-11-1814, Britain began its invasion of Baltimore with the largest invasion in U.S. history. It landed 5,000 battle-seasoned professional soldiers at North Point, planning to march the short distance to capture Baltimore. American militia forces, ordinary citizens rather than professional soldiers, blocked the British path into Baltimore. On September 12th, at the Battle of North Point, the militia inflicted serious casualties on the British forces, delaying their progress toward Baltimore. On the next day, September 13th, the British began their naval attack on Fort McHenry in Baltimore Harbor. Unable to defeat Fort McHenry and unable to enter Baltimore by land, the British subsequently retreated back down the Chesapeake Bay. Americans were overjoyed at their success defending Baltimore. Today we meet reenactors who gather each year to recreate the little-known Battle of North Point, Maryland. We will meet some for whom this is truly a family affair. And we're, we're the Chris Jones family, and we're here volunteering. Volunteering is a family thing. But I would say that if there's one benefit to this, it's you get to walk through history in ways that other people don't get to. Attention. It's just like fun because you get to like participate in history and also like I get to hang out with my family because they've been doing this for a long time. You meet a lot of people and you meet a lot of kids and that's what the future is about. Seeing these kids come and their eyes go wide when you show them how to do something, how to play a game, what the dollies looked like back then, what the boys played with. That's it. And if you don't get your spouse involved one way or the other, you wind up getting divorced. It's as simple as that. And sometimes you meet your spouse doing things like this. Spike and I met doing this. Um, his group came down from Canada and I met him and we got married. In fact, today is our 21st wedding, 21st wedding anniversary. They got married here. And we got married yeah, here we at the got park. Married 100 up yards there. up the road. Most of the guys in the green uniforms here are members of a scout troop. So this is a year round activity for the scout troop. And this is what we growed into, what you're looking at here uh, the tents, the uniforms, the rifles, and everything. We've been doing reenacting now, seriously reenacting, for over 25 years. We've been to New Orleans, we've been to Fort Erie. Uh, Fort Niagara, uh, Fort York up in Toronto, Chippewa, Lundy's Lane, uh, Bladensburg, just about every place there was a battle during War of 1812, we've been there. It's something you can do as a family. It's historical, so you can learn something. And honestly, every trip you take out doing a reenactment, you learn something new. Not dealing with a cell phone at a reenactment or having cars to go back and forth. It, it makes you understand a little bit more about where everyone came from and how things are now. You meet people, you talk to them, you educate them sometimes. Sometimes you just make them smile. It becomes a hobby, and then from a hobby it becomes something that's just fun to do. So I, I recommend it. Music